and put it on the Yes. Where do you want to put it? On the, on the, on the carpet. carpet. Right on the carpet. Yeah. Would you, like for this one, would that, um, yeah, for that one, wouldn't that be, because you have like the OH, isn't that like a acid, isn't that what you yes. like do for an acid? Is this an alcohol? Uh, is this, what is this? Uh, it doesn't exist, so I can't really answer that question. <laughs> uh, it's sort okay. of an alcohol because it has an OH, and this H, if this existed, would be acidic, somewhat, a little bit. Oh. Uh -huh. Not like HCl acidic, but a little bit acidic. Okay. Well, isn't it like when we have an O and H at the very end, that would imply it's a, it's a base group? Okay, yeah. If you have an O and an H together, that's usually a base unless it's an organic. Then it's an acid. Uh, because uh, it has to be a base if the other side is a metal. And then the OH is lost completely in the metal, has a, a noble gas configuration. However, when it's acidic, you lose all this, you're going to put a minus charge on the carbon, and carbon really can't stand minus formal charges. It's really bad. So you can lose the H, though, and put a minus charge or something else on the oxygen, and that's okay. All right, so here I did 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 20, 22, 24, 26. Uh, where do you want to put the last pair? On one of the center carbons. Which carbon do you want? Either one, it doesn't matter. Okay. Good. <laughs> so now what? We have some messed up octets. Do we make a double bond with right them? Right here and here. Make a double bond with the oxygen. Okay, so you make a double bond with erase one. Boom. That's all fixed. And then now, now make a double bond between the uh, two Okay, and then carbons. fix those. Now, does anything have a non-zero formal charge? No. No, so you're done. It's perfect. Yeah. So, organics, it would be unusual, possible but unusual to have a formal charge in an organic molecule. So I'll give you a little hint. This stuff, when you see CHO, I'm going to erase this. Is that okay? Yeah. Erasing? Is that okay? Yes. Perfect. Okay. CHO equals this all the time. CO2H or COOH, same thing, means this. I know you're probably not going to remember this, and that's okay. You don't have to know this. This is organic stuff. Always means that. You know, there's just stuff you kind of remember once you take organic. I realize you have so. <laughs> or CH2OH is, that's where your alcohol comes in. Okay, so that's just stuff I know that, you know, when I would have drawn it, I was like, oh, I know what it is already. Just from taking organic. But this is the kind of common nomenclature of sorts. If you see, oh, there's one more. See, uh, like CO somewhere together. It could mean a couple different things, but a common one is this one. So probably the most that you would see, you'd all probably see this one every once in a while, and this one. So you can remember it, or you just guess like we did, and until you get one that has zero formal charges. And that'll happen uh, a lot for organics. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, kind of. Uh, so that's why I, at first I was trying to draw an organic molecule, because that's where you kind of have that problem more often. With the what? Organics. You have that problem oh. of like mixing up what things are. Okay. The other one I did in class, which you've already seen, if it's something like this, a small molecule, then you just have to keep guessing. It's like trial and error, you just like... Totally trial and error. Okay. Yeah. Out of a little bit of wisdom, you might say this carbon's in the center and that would be correct. Okay. But otherwise, uh, you wouldn't know.